In this tutorial, let's animate paper in After Effects. One quick trick right at the beginning. Take any image you want to create a texture with, in this case, paper of course, adding it. You can see it's much bigger than the actual comp. Press P to open the position property, move it to the most bottom right position so that it still covers the screen. In this case, 2800 and 1900. To the most top left position, minus 1000 and Y minus 800. To animate it, add an expression to the position property and type in random and inside the parentheses we add two arrays, square brackets and the first position values 2800 comma 1900 comma then square brackets again the second array and minus 1000 comma minus 800. The random expression generates a random value between these two arrays every frame. That's why we have to slow it down. Before we add posterized time and four in parentheses. Semicolon, awesome. We reduce the frame rate to four frames per second. Duplicate the layer and set its blending mode to multiply to add more detail. Hey, my name is Manuel, by the way, and now that we're warmed up, let's dive right into creating digital paper with standard effects in After Effects. Sometimes it makes more sense to create your own paper because you have much more control over how it looks like. We start with a new solid, Command and Y if you use a Mac, otherwise Control and Y. Let's name it Paper. The color doesn't matter because we add turbulent noise. I mostly search effects through the Effects and Presets window and add them. Let's adjust some settings, noise type block, contrast around 70, brightness 50. In transform we set the scale width and height to around 1700, reduce complexity to 1. This effect is supposed to add a fold. We move the offset turbulence until we find the right part and position for the fold. Maybe through the center. We need to add more detail by duplicating the effect. First of all, we set its blending mode to multiply so that it blends through. Then we set the noise type to spline, the scale to around 500. This adds some diffuse bright and dark parts to the texture. We duplicate the effect once more. This time we set fractal type to max, noise type to soft linear, contrast 350, brightness 90. In transform we set scale to 5. We added some smaller noise particles. Then let's add the effect noise. Set the amount to 10%. We don't use color noise. So we started with the biggest elements and went more into detail with each step. Finally, let's add turbulent displays to distort this perfect fold. We set displacement to cross displacement. That's a bit much. Let's reduce the amount to 2, size to 130, and let's increase the complexity to 10. And to add some movement, we animate the evolution with a time expression. But before, we reduce the frame rate to give it a handmade feel. Posterize time and 4 in parentheses. Semicolon. Then we use the time expression, time asterisk 500. And we created a generic paper background. To add lines, we add a new solid. Color this time, blue or whatever color you want the lines to be. Let's name it lines. To create the lines, we add Venetian blinds. You can find the effect under transition. Transition completion, 98%. That's the thickness of the lines. Direction, 90 degrees. And width, 50. That's the distance between the lines. To animate the lines, we copy the turbulent displays effect from the paper solid and paste it to the lines solid. Let's reduce the amount to one though. Duplicate the layer, set the direction to zero degrees to get squares. Sometimes paper has like smears on it, at least mine when my fatty fingers brush over it. Let's simulate that. We add an adjustment layer and add Gaussian Blur. Let's set the amount to 30. Next, we need to reduce the blurred area. By adding a new solid, let's name it Blur Mat. And we go into the paper solid again and use the second turbulent noise effect. Copy it and paste it to the new solid. 
We need to set the blending mode back to normal and increase the contrast. Maybe set brightness back to zero. Let's rename the adjustment layer as well, blur. And use the blur matte layer as luma track matte for the blur layer. Get this free project file and many other amazing resources on my website. Learn how to develop motion design strategies for brands. How to create unique, smooth and organic animations. Or learn how to animate with expressions in After Effects. Sign up to my newsletter, get your free expression sheet, your free motion design strategy sheet or download more than 150 After Effects project files. The link is in the description. To reveal this piece of paper, we add the paper we just created to a new composition. Then we add a new solid, color white and name it Reveal Matte. We use the pen tool and draw a small mask around the center with maybe six to add mask points. Press V to switch back to the selection tool, open the mask properties and add a mask path keyframe. Then we go to 12 frames and move all the mask points beyond the screen. Let's zoom out, some farther away, some closer to the edge. Let's use the pen tool again to add two more mask points. And let's change the mask color so it is more visible. Then we move back to eight frames and adjust the mask. Slightly change the mask point positions, move them closer together. Then we repeat that at four frames. Finally, we select all keyframes and right click on one of them and select toggle hold keyframe. They freeze keyframe values until the next keyframe. The goal is to randomly scale the mask. Awesome. We use the layer as alpha track mat for the paper comb. Switch to the track mat panel and link it to the solid. Next, we animate the paper, the position, scale and rotation. We randomly change the position, scale and rotation values starting at 12 frames again. Then going to eight and four frames to the beginning into toggle hold keyframes again. We duplicate the solid, name it paper tab. Make it visible, zoom in, open the masks group and duplicate the mask. Then let's change the mask color of the new one and lock the top one. We set the blending mode of the bottom mask, which has the exact same shape, to subtract. Then move the mask points further inside to simulate crumbled paper. Repeat that for each keyframe. Then we go back into the digital paper comp and select all effects of the paper solid. Select one effect and press Command and A or Control and A if you use a PC. Copy them and paste them to the paper top solid. And that's it, a quick paper unfold animation. Now I'll show you how to create a cutout animation like this. I've removed the background from this scene. Let me know in the comments if you want to know how I did it. First, we duplicate the layer and rename the bottom one matte paper. Next we add the paper animation we created right at the beginning. Use the bottom video clip as alpha track mat. Next, we need to grow the border of the paper shape. But before we do that, let's reduce the frame rate of the scene to get a handmade style. We add an adjustment layer, go to layer, new adjustment layer. Let's name it, like all layers, frame rate. Then, we add posterized time to it. You can find it under time in effect and set the frame rate to four frames per second. Let's select the matte paper layer again and add Minimax. Minimax reduces or expands an edge. Let's set operation to maximum, radius to 50, 
channel alpha, horizontal and vertical. Awesome. Let's work some more on the edge of the paper, meaning we add more effects to the mat. Let's start with turbulent displays. Amount 4, size 100, complexity 1. This adds more randomness to the edge. Next up is rough and edges. Border 30, scale 300, complexity 10. This makes it look like torn paper. Let's add an extra layer of paper to make it more interesting. Luckily, we created our own paper before. We add it above the matte layer, then duplicate the matte layer and use it as alpha track mat for the digital paper layer. Finally, we reduce the radius of the minimax layer to around 25. Don't forget to check out the links to my resources in the description. On the left side, I've added a video you might like. Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Bye everyone.